Hello, this is Rahul from Learning Simplified and in this video we will learn about data transfer instructions. Suppose if we want to transfer some data from memory to a register in processor or register in processor to memory then we use these instructions to transfer the data. So first of all let us transfer uh, data from memory to register in a processor. For that we use uh, an instruction called load instruction which means it loads the data from uh, memory into the register of a processor. Always remember that we have to think in terms of processor which means we are the processor and we are loading the data from memory into the processor okay this means load r1 comma m of 2000 what this instruction does is it loads the data at memory location 200 into the register r1 now let us see how it is done suppose let us have it this as a processor this is our processor and let's say this is our register within the processor r1 and we also have a main memory this is our main memory that we are going to consider having various cells these are the cells uh, this is our memory let's say these are the locations 1000 1001 1002 and i am assuming that this memory is a byte addressable memory now what the processor does is it, it uh, there are three types of buses between a processor and main memory one one bus is address memory sorry address bus what it does is it sends out the address of the location uh, where the data is to be fetched into the processor into the register r1 let's say this uh, address bus we are we are sending an address uh, 1000 okay 1000 address we are sending it to the memory what memory does is it uh, decodes this address and goes to the specific location that is 1000 and let's say we have a uh, data as f6 in this memory location now what does the memory do it does nothing because we have sent the address in this direction to the memory it has received the address but it doesn't know what what to do because processor didn't say anything to do so in order to say command the memory the processor has a control control bus okay what it does is it sends signals to the memory and memory has a control unit control unit don't get confused with this control unit and the control unit within the processor this is another control unit which decodes the control signal sent by the processor so uh, in the control bus we send read signal I have already said before we are the processor and we are reading the data from the memory okay so read signal is sent to the memory and this is decoded into various signals so uh, there are various signals such as read write reset set etc so the uh, one of these signals is selected uh, by the control signal that we have sent to the main memory and now what memory does is it loads this data into another bus called as data bus this is called as data bus and the memory loads this uh, data into the data bus and it is sent to the processor when the processor receives the data there is a special purpose register called MBR which is nothing but memory buffer register where it receives the data 
and sends into the desired register and data is updated as F6. All right. So let's see once again. Uh, we also have another register MAR which is memory address register. What processor does is it loads the memory address register here 1000. It loads 1000 into memory address register and this is sent on address bus to the memory and control signal is sent as a read signal where the memory loads the data at the address location sent by address bus onto the data bus and when processor receives the data the data is first loaded into the memory buffer register and then it is sent to the desired register that is R1 register. So this is what happens if we perform a load instruction. Now let us go to another data transfer instruction uh, which, which stores the data from register into the memory. Till now we have seen uh, an instruction where data is fetched into the processor. Now we will see an instruction where data from the processor is stored on the main memory. The instruction is store store r1 comma memory location let's say the memory location is 2000 what it does is it stores the value that is in r1 register into the memory location at 2000 okay this is called a store why are we calling this as store because we are the processor and we are storing some value from our side to the other side now again let us consider a processor let's say this as a processor and this is a register r1 when when i write only one when i draw only one register it doesn't mean the processor has only one register for simplicity for the sake of understanding i am writing only one register here this is our processor and let's have our memory as well this is our memory having various cells okay this uh, let's assume this has 2000 location 2001 2002 2003 and this is byte addressable memory now we have uh, data as d6 in this register now we have to transfer uh, data in register r1 into memory location 2000 so what uh, our processor does is first of all it sends the address a b a b is a short form of address bus address bus and data is sent to the main memory and memory decodes there is another unit uh, which decodes the memory and goes to the particular cell which i am not showing here and it also has a control signal it is sent on control bus cb means control bus okay it is sent to control unit of memory okay control unit of memory not processor what signal is sent is write signal because we are writing something onto the uh, main memory. So among these lines read, write and all etc. Write signal is selected and the operation is performed as specified by the processor. Address is loaded onto the address bus uh, from memory address register. Before the address is loaded into onto the address bus it is loaded first into the memory address register and we, we need to send the data right so we have memory buffer register where the desired register value that is d6 is first loaded into memory buffer register and then it is loaded onto the data bus db is the short form of data bus see the arrow is changed here in the previous instruction the arrow is uh, towards the processor because data we are receiving the data and here the data we are sending the data from memory buffer register we send data onto the data bus 
to the location and the data is stored at this memory location d6 that is d6 is stored at memory location 2000 we also have a more generic data transfer instruction which is known as move instruction move a comma b which is nothing but the data in at, at uh, b or location b is transferred into location a after transferring uh, data from location b to location a b remains unchanged suppose uh, if we have a box at location b and i say you to move this box to location a then you move after some time you move the box from this location to a but after you move this box you don't have a box here because you have moved this here but that's not the case with uh, our move instruction this so this is called a misnomer because it doesn't do what it says move means we have to move and we have to delete it but what happens in our move instruction is uh, let's say we have 12 in memory location b and after we execute this move instruction data is copied into a and this data is not deleted it stays as it is so be careful with that and these locations can be a register or memory we can use here a register or a memory and here a register or a memory so we can implement uh, load and store instructions with the help of move instruction as well if we write move r1 comma a which is nothing but we are moving the data at memory location a into the register r1 but we have seen that this type of instruction is a load instruction so we have implemented load with the help of move now let's say we write move move a comma r1 what this does is it moves the data from register r1 into memory location uh, a so what uh, we have seen this is store instruction we have implemented load and store instructions with the help of move instructions move differentiates between a load and a store instruction depending on the source and destination if the source is a memory location then it is then it assumes it as a load instruction and if the destination is a main memory location and source is a register then it assumes as a store instruction one more thing we can do with the help of uh, move instruction is we can transfer data from one location to another location that is from memory location b to memory location a which was not which which was possible by load and store instruction but uh, it takes uh, more instructions how do we implement this in terms of load and stories first of all we have to load the data at location b into our register so l o a d load let's say we consider r1 as our register and m b which means we are loading memory location b data into register r1 so now we have removed this into r1 next we have to perform store m of a r1 that means we are moving the data and register r1 into memory location of a so we need two instructions which is implemented with only one instruction if we use move else we can do in this way so that's all for this video guys thank you for watching see you next time until then happy learning